coffee. <laughs> hey everybody. <clears throat> Today I want to talk a little bit about getting started in woodworking. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and um, it seems that I'm getting a lot of you know uh, newbies for lack of a better term and then I'm also getting a lot of subscribers who aren't in the continental United States and some of these guys may be in places where they don't have access to the kind of equipment that we have access to here. And um, I'm seeing a lot of new people coming into the woodworking um, field, which is absolutely wonderful. It's really nice to see people that are interested in still creating things with their hands and building things. Um, but I see a lot of, a lot of videos on, online, and there's a lot of good ones, um, but a lot of the videos online can be fairly intimidating to people who are just getting started in woodworking. We use a lot of terms in woodworking that a lot of people might not be familiar with. Uh, but woodworking is easy. It is it's so simple. Um, it's no more difficult than writing a word. It's, it's all about learning a process. Once you know you put a T, an H, and an E, one right after the other, and you have the word the. It, it, woodworking is the same thing. You know, once you learn the process of writing the T, the process of writing the H, and the process of writing the E, and you put those together, you have a piece of furniture or an accent piece. You know, it's just about learning those simple processes, taking that first step, then the next step, and then the next step. And once you put those together, you come up with, you know, all kinds of different ideas, designs, and, what, and you know, pieces. It's not complicated. And <laughs> I'm probably ticking off some people out there. Now, there's some really talented guys out there doing some amazing carving and all kinds of wonderful things. But even the most complicated piece of furniture that you've ever seen was done with one simple step after another simple step. It's not... Um, there's no mystery, there's no magic, and um, anyone who wants to woodwork can. You don't have to have a bunch of equipment. You know, if you go out in the woods with, you know, a flat-headed screwdriver and a hammer, you can build something. You know, you just use, your, use this as a chisel and, you know, it's not like you have to have a, a shop full of equipment to do it. And that's another thing that I see discouraging some people from getting started in woodworking. You know, is that there's just, you see all these different fancy pieces of equipment out there that people are doing all kinds of crazy things with. You don't have to have those. <laughs> you know, it's not that important. Um, there are some things that you're not going to be able to do without certain pieces of equipment, but don't let that limit your imagination and don't let that limit stop you from actually going out and trying the woodwork. Uh, you know, when I first got started in woodworking, I was fortunate enough to have a grandfather who had some shop equipment. My dad was into woodworking, so I had a, a, a basis, a background, you know, and I'm, I come from five generations of craftsmen, so I'm fortunate in that aspect. But don't let, you know, don't let not having somebody there to guide you or to show you, you know, stop you from trying something. You know, go out, and, there's material everywhere. If you don't have the money to spend on material, Go out in the backyard and cut some limbs off of a tree. You know, um, use your screwdriver or a chisel or whatever, shape some, you know, tendons on them, put them together, make a little towel rack, you know, make a, a, a toilet paper holder. You know, just don't let um, not having something be the reason you're not going out and, you know, building, building stuff. You know, really, to get started, if you've got a handsaw, this right here, this one's a little $17 handsaw from, uh, you know, the big box store. You can use this to cut off some limbs. You know, an old chisel. They work great to get the, you know, to get things started. You can use this for shaping and forming and cutting tendons. You know, I've got, believe it or not, I built this little drill when I was just a kid. This is a little hand drill. And um, where I grew up, we didn't have electricity, so I used this a lot. Um, you know, don't really do not let not having the equipment stop you from trying something. You know, an old drill and a hammer, an old hand drill and a hammer, an old saw and a hammer, a chisel. You know, be creative. Think about what you can build with that and go out and do it. Uh, there's a lot of guys out online and a lot of places that are going to teach you that you need to have certain things. You don't need to have anything really to get started in woodworking. Just go out and start. Uh, woodworking is easy. It's about learning processes. Once you learn those processes, you know, you're going to do it in your sleep. So, um, one of the other important things about woodworking to remember is that, you know, motivation for the reason why you're going out to woodwork, it, you know, it's an act of creating. You're building something, you're, you're, you're making something tangible that you can hold in your hands and show other people. 
Don't let people tell you you can't do something. Don't let somebody you know bring you down because they have a shop full of equipment and think they know everything in the world there is to know. Your, your woodworking is full of a lot of alpha male personalities who think they know the world, and they don't. Um, don't let somebody like that stop you from doing what you know you want to do. And a lot of times, once you get into it, you're going to find that you love it. This is an amazing, wonderful place or um, industry. This is, it's an amazing, wonderful hobby. You know, it, it's very rewarding. There's nothing more rewarding than building something and at the end of it, you have this tangible object that you can hold in your hand, you can enjoy it, and you can show other people, and you can use it. You know, woodworking is very functional. So, with the, I'm going to leave you with that, and I'm, I'm sorry if I upset anybody out there, but there is nothing magical, mystical, or mysterious about woodworking. It's very simple. It's one process after another process after another process. The trick is finding a process that works for you. There's a hundred different ways to cut a straight line. Find a process that works for you. Find a way to cut a straight line that works for you and use that method. And then as you develop in your experience, you'll develop new processes. So thanks for watching everybody. We got lots more fun stuff coming, lots more tips, easy how-tos. A lot of more crazy, you know, easy stuff that's off the wall, but I can't help it. I think it's my bipolar side or something coming out. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great night.